do you remember who it was? You know, we sing that song, I know that my Redeemer lives. Do you know who said that? Like, I mean, that's something that you think, you know, David would say in one of the Psalms. You know, something like that. Right. Of all people, why in the world would Job be the one to say, I know that my Redeemer lives when he's in the midst of all his suffering and he's, you know, suffered the loss of everything. Even in all of those trials, if we were to face something similar today, yet had the faith of Job, we could say, I know that this suffering is over. I wish I was dead because of how awful this was. I mean, that's something else that Job said. You know, I wish I had never been born, you know, because of all of his suffering. But even then, he was like, well, I have been born. I still live. You know, I'm, I'm here today. And I know that my Redeemer lives. Sure. So even in that, there is, there's hope. One of the pieces of the armor of God is the helmet of salvation. Uh, and it's important. And I think that this beautiful picture of the armor of God and each one of the pieces and, and them fitting together in an intentful way. There's a reason why the breastplate is righteousness. There's a reason why the belt is truth. You know, the belt held all of the Roman armor together. Without it, everything would fall apart. What does truth do for us today? Holds everything together. But the helmet protects the head. And in other places of Scripture, it's not just the helmet of salvation. It's the helmet of the joy of salvation. And... Being that, and I think when, when he says the helmet of salvation, that's really what he's talking about. It's not just the fact that you're saved that protects your mind. It's the fact that you know that you're saved. It's the fact that you have joy, that you have a redeemer. You know, and I think, and I guess one of the reasons why we talked about the Lamb of God too is that if we just remember that and focus on that, that's where our joy comes from, the joy of salvation. A joy that, that is inexpressible. You know, something that we can't really describe and the world doesn't really understand how we can be joyful in our trials. You know, but I know that my Redeemer lives. That's right. It's the knowing, it's the confidence of who Jesus is. I mean, it's, I don't, I can't manufacture my own joy. I mean, I can try and I like to try. But the saying that money can't buy happiness is true. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I can't, there's only a certain amount of happiness and joy I can give myself. But the positivity the, uh, and the joy that Jesus has given me as the Lamb of God is unmatchable. And it is just something that we can't replace. 